locked in. Final event. Bit of cloud cover now across the metropolitan area on what has generally been a beautiful afternoon for racing. Big day for Pierce Racing. They're off. Kaliba drop back to last shortly after the start. The first to get going is outfield with pace. Special view jump well. Filthy habits feels playful driving across from deeper out. Playhouse patron just drifting back in behind those but not far from the speed early. And then came not secret a length and a half away. Colossal celebrity prince. Then Kalima picking up ground followed by special sort. Galaxy affair a bit wide there going up to the first corner from count the sessions and dance boss had found itself back there with those amongst the last of them settling down at the 800 outfield takes them down the side led by a length running second special view playhouse patron going up on the inside is next being closely attended by fields playful almost two lengths behind those then on the rails to colossal as they come to the turn at the 550 not secret sitting on its outer filthy habits is covering extra ground off its back four deep next special sort celebrity prince being niggled at back in the field dance boss looking for a trail home count the sessions looking for a run in the middle Kalima's got right up near the rail, but outfield's off and gone. At the 275 outfield, raced away by two to Playhouse Patron. Special view, not secret. Celebrity Prince getting home hard down on the inside. It's outfield, the leader. Here comes Dance Boss as well with a wet sail. They've got the leader and running on as well. Playhouse Patron, Celebrity Prince, Dance Boss. They're going to come away on the inside. Celebrity Prince might have just got it. Maybe Celebrity Prince, a rail's hugging right from Pike. Maybe, maybe in the last over dance boss playhouse patron the center and count the sessions running on powerfully from back there and then kalima not secret outfield ran out of tickets late then special sort next home colossal galaxy affair filthy habits followed further back special view and feels playful amongst the last of them home a photo result photo declared after the running of the last event of the day dance boss celebrity prince Pike getting right up on the rail, and 11's got it. 11 Celebrity Prince to give Willie Pike the third leg of a treble here this afternoon on Strickland Stakes Day. Beats eight, Dance Boss, Brad Parnham, Playhouse Patron, Joe has a party third, and holding on for 413 outfield who led them for a long way. The interim numbers to the last great finish, 11 Celebrity Prince, eight, Dance Boss, 3, Playhouse Patron, 13, Outfield, 11-8, 3-13. The winner by Extravagant from Celebrity Miss for Peter's Investments, a double for the Cerise and white-black colours this afternoon. For Michael Grantham, Willie Pike with 3, beating Dance Boss Brad Parnham by Deep Field from Fast Flowing, trained by Simon Miller, Playhouse Patron, first up and well found in the market too from the Bob McPherson Stable by Patronise out of Playhouse Theatre, Joe has a party. A half ahead by three quarters, official margins in 125.24, running home in 36.79. Celebrity Prince today posting his third victory in 14 runs after being luckless last start. Behind Dance Boss, he turns the tables today with a typical Pike rails hugging ride to take out the final event on the card as we head downstairs and catch up with Lockie back in the enclosure thanks Darren I'm now catching up with Michael Grantham second leg of a double for the stable Mickey G celebrity prince he was luckless last start but the wizard waved his magic yeah well there he goes look at him um, no he's done a good job there he's been luckless and um, you know Willie was very determined today to not make that happen he was out to 1,400 metres today. Is a horse that you've always envisaged would get out over a little bit further? Um, I'm not really 100% sure at the moment. He looked like he may be being peaking on his run then, but that could have just been more race fitness than anything else. But um, we'll just see what, see what comes of it. Antique Miss, a stylish winner early on today. Yeah, she went well and you know, it, was a, it was a great ride by Luke, so I can't take anything away from that. You're on strapping duty, so I'll let you go. Thanks, there is Michael Grantham after the win of Celebrity Prince. A great day for the stable and what a ride from Willie Pike as we so often see here in the West. Pike in the last here in WA and he had to weave his magic. He almost had to get the pogo stick out but as we so often see Scott, it was Pike in the last of the four once again. Yeah, very rare that he gets beaten in a photo finish. Lockie, he's normally the one that gets the head down right at the right time. We've seen two photo finishes go the way of W. Pike here on today's program. And 
He's too strong here in the last with Celebrity Prince, a horse that went for a very similar run to that last start, but had no luck whatsoever, and the gaps didn't arise for him today. The gaps did come up the inside, and he gets the job done by the narrowest of margins over Dance Boss, who is absolutely flying. That was a monster run from the back of the field. At the top of the home straight, he would have been conceding that tearaway leader 10 lengths. Exactly right, and when you consider how close it was in the finish, that was just the difference between... Winning and losing for Brad Parnham and Dance Boss, but Celebrity Prince, I feel he deserved that win after how unlucky he was last start, but Willie Pike does what he does best, goes up the rail and wins the last, and he's now catching up with Scotty. He certainly does. Pikey, obviously, that was the run that he was angling for last start and didn't get. Today, he gets the run, and we get to see what's under the hood. Yeah, that's right. Um, still a bit of a checkered run, but uh, and he sort of balked at where I asked him to go originally, but he, he kicked through and... I always felt like I was going to win once I got through, but he still needed a little bit of convincing. That was almost going to be my next question. Watching him live, it looked like when you angled back to the inside, he almost put in a, a half dodgy stride back to the fence. Yeah, he did. Um, I don't think he really liked it, uh, but we were limited on options. Um, I don't know. He's been, he's been going to do that for a couple of starts. So I'm just glad we got it on the board. For those that didn't hear the beaten jockeys, what was your thought on Western Empire? I thought he went really well. Um, credit to the winner. He was too good on the day. Uh, maybe he's better at different distances, but... We weren't good enough today. Congratulations. Thank you. There's Willie Pike bringing up the third leg of a treble and a great day for Michael Grantham as well for with a double for the Peters Investments camp. But all honours are to Let's Gallivant, the Pierce Brothers and Chris Parnham in taking out the Swan Draft Strickland Stakes. That's all we have time for here this afternoon at Belmont Park. Scott Embry will be with you tomorrow afternoon to cover everything at the KBRC. Hot when I'm, no I really don't start when I'm gonna